Let's pretend that I'm the guy. I'm the guy that doesn't like you because you're gay. Because I'm gay. Um, How could you convince me to not feel that way about you? Think about the question on the other side. Like, why can't you consider having two people loving each other, even if they're in the same sex? Attraction. I would say something you can't even control. You know, you're attracted to this person. Um, um, and you you cannot control what you feel in your stomach. This is, this comes, love comes from the stomach, from the your guts. It's like, oh my God, this is a very attractive person and you cannot control it. And this is something you're like, hey dude, I mean, you don't like me because I'm like this, but I cannot control liking this person. I think um, they were exaggerating to call you fatty. They were exaggerating. Like, you know, yeah, everything, everything is a big deal. Yeah, everything hurts and also because you're not comfortable with yourself. I had a huge issue with my, with my butt. Hi, my name is Ludovic Couteau. Where are you from, Ludovic? I'm from France. How long have you been acting? I've been acting since I was six years old. Started in France in a theater class every week and never stopped. What did they make fun of you for? Oh. Okay, so I was in, um, I would say it started in the elementary school for, for four years. I would, it's been, I was a little more chubby and, uh, and there's this people like that I just still despise obviously. There were a group of like five, six people and they kept making fun of me of the way I was talking, the way I was behaving, behaving, the, 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 you know, the fact that I was a little bit different, making different choices, doing different stuff. And um, they didn't like that I was an actor or that I liked acting or that I was doing characters or making voices and stuff like that. And, you know, like something that is like different when you're in elementary school and nobody really appreciates, nobody takes you seriously. I was not really taken seriously. We're trying to get back to that time when you were being bullied yeah. and get a sense of how you got from being that guy to being the guy you are right now. Um, it's been hard. It's been hard to just move on. You know, after elementary school, I started to talk with my best friend and I shared some stories about what was happening and I had a fight with her so I could not really share anything so I felt a little lonely. I was, I was trying also to commit suicide and which is, you know, something when you think about it now, it's like, it's not, it's not pointless, but it's also like how, how much they push you to this point where you, you commit suicide. It's crazy what you do. Um, do you ever have nightmares about it? Not anymore. Yes, I had nightmares, but I don't, not anymore. I, um... It's when I moved to high school that the first year was tough because I, I, it was a new high school so I could not fit in and I decided for some reason after my grandma died to just become more responsible with myself and also be, okay, she used to tell me all those, th all those stuff, um, you know, to, to be a boy, a big boy, an adult and do, you know, be responsible and make choices by yourself and be proud of them and this came back to my head and I said okay so no matter what I do it's okay like this is my life and who cares I, I'm just gonna do it and so my two last years of high school I I was I was more comfortable with myself in my body and, um, and even in theater class I, I could even share more stuff with my teachers and the troupe and so it became it became okay to respond to whatever I was hearing. If somebody would come to the street and ask me something completely awkward or was criticizing me or teasing me, I'd be like, okay, fuck you, like, fuck you. Like, what do you want? Like, just get a life. You know? Say that. And also, I accepted myself. Like, I could accept myself more, you know? And accepting yourself at, at this part of your life when you're still a teenager, it's, it's a big deal. How old are you now? I'm 21. You could certainly read for 16 to... Oh, yeah. I still play. 21 st would be probably the oldest you could read for, but... Yeah. I still play young characters. I mean, Randy is a young character, definitely. He's in high school, but it's, it's just... I still play young, and I'm happy about that, because, like, 
I have a different vision of it. When I play this character, I can bring another layer that I didn't know at that time. Are you gay? Yeah. Good. And you didn't hesitate at all, which is perfect. That's a good answer. I was actually expecting this question, to oh, be frank. Because you said personal, you said it's written there, and it's part of also of the, the, the part of Randy's character. What effect do you mm -hmm. think the Red-Headed Randy, the movie, will have on people that are homophobic and people who have a problem with same-sex couples, yeah. same-sex relations? Yeah, I hope it's going to affect them because it's just, um, yeah, because it's actually bullying kids in general and also those people who are different because they're like the same sex. And it's just, um, it's a great message that we have to share because today it's huge. It's very huge and great to do it in New York City where it's more open-minded, I would say. I've been here two years and uh, I saw stuff that I never saw before, like how people can react to that and how it's more open-minded to go to a club, to, 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 you know, to just hang out with a guy or, to, or even two girls or talk about it even more with people. And that's, that's something that I'm happy it's in the movie too, that this subject, this like, extra layer. Even if it's not about that, it's, it's part of the film. Because we know, you know, it's, in the, it's on the website, it's in the script, and so it's still out there. So to be like, hey guys, this is also a, a, something we should talk about. We are. I think, I, yeah, we probably are very open-minded with this. I think it's less of a big deal. Like even just a kiss would be less of a big deal than um, here, you know? It's like, you know. And, and we're in New York, so you can only imagine what it's like in the middle of the country. Yes, and I have friends from Midwest or from even wherever in America, California, Florida, Michigan. Like I have friends from all over that I met here, actors, and they tell me that. They tell me how they left also for some reasons about, about this, like opinions, point of views, and comments. Hi, my name is Ludovic Couteau, and I'm auditioning for Randy. Hi, everyone in Cyber World. Today will be my last video blog. I'm sick and tired of living like a punching bag. Every kid in the school bully me all the time. They ripped out my hair and knocked down my tooth and made my life a living hell. I hate my life. So, I decided to teach all the bullies a lesson. Every time you're gonna see my face, I'm gonna appear on the screen and disappear. You're gonna feel guilty for everything you did to me. Everything is gonna to come to an end for you. Nothing can save you.